introducing our Christmas florals bundle. Does this bundle look familiar? It's similar to our popular wonderful florals bundle, but with a Christmas twist. These poinsettias are so fun to color with your favorite medium, and the dyes are a must-have to go with it. Let me show you how they work together. Okay, so you uh, this is an excellent set for watercoloring. You do have a die, a large die, that will actually cut around that full image. Okay, um, so if you stamp it down like this, then you can line up this die and it will cut around that full image. There's another piece in the die set which looks like this, okay? It actually does die cut all of your letters out, the word Christmas, and I wanna show you how you line this up. The C, the T, and the M are open so that when you lay this down, you can see where to line that up, and then it will die cut the rest of your letters so that it will look like this, and you have that cool peek through. What's cool about that is you can use the individual letters that die cut out like this, or what you could do is take some of our new beautiful foil paper and put that behind the letters to give it some beautiful shine. So that's what that die does. You also have an individual die that will die cut this single poinsettia right there. Other dies in this set, we gave you two little bits of berries so you can cut out more berries at one time. This cute little sprig. You also have this scripty Mary word, which is just tiny and fragile. It's so cute on the cards. And then you have this little label strip or banner die that actually cuts out all of these sentiments in the stamp set, which makes it easy to add those onto your cards as well. Okay. Oh, and I wanted to show you an example of what that looks like once you die cut it out and color that in. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let me show you some projects that we've created with this set. Now, if you want to go super simple because you have a lot of cards to make, you can simply just gold emboss that entire image on colored cardstock. We added the Mary at the top with our gold foil paper. And look, you can do them in lots of different colors and it's super quick and easy. Another example, quick and easy, is this chalkboard look. So you just take your white ink pad and stamp on black paper and then it looks like it really has been chalked. May your Christmas be bright and we've just added those label pieces in and used that die cut with the single poinsettia to pop this on our card. Here is another one where we didn't use the background, we just used the poinsettia and these extra berries and stamped that, made our own background paper. You also have these very large sentiments in the set that says Merry Christmas, um, and we've created our own label using that on top. Okay, here is another one where we did use the large Merry Christmas, added the poinsettia here, and if you can see like the extra little um, twigs that come, the twig die that comes in there, we've used the gold foil paper to really accent that. And the background is our woven plaid background from last month's release. Here's one if you really want to step it up where we've done watercoloring. So we've die cut this from watercolor paper, watercolored that, and then you can see the layers. We've actually put another piece of paper under there so that you can see the, the letters really pop. And then we added some background stamping around the edges there. This one, like I mentioned, those letters, when you die cut them out, they're fallout letters. So you can use those on their own. And we've used the silver foil paper and popped those letters on top. And the background on this one is our woven stripes background stamp. So these just make beautiful, beautiful cards. Okay. Who is ready to start coloring these cards for the holidays? Be sure to tag us at Concord and Ninth so we can see your beautiful creations. Mm -hmm.